Luke is just the person I need. Luke, I need help making one of these. What is it? It's a very old device called a smoke bomb. Sounds dangerous. Deadly dangerous. Not at all. According to the label, the smoke is harmless. Look, you can still read the ingredients. Huh, doesn't look too dangerous. Can you make it? Let me see. I think so. The components are fairly common chemicals. Give me a minute. Done. This is just the powder. You'll need a casing to put it in. I'm working on it. I could pull out a small strand using one of those spikes. Let's see. Great. I managed to draw out a single strand, but now... Oh, wow. I tighten the knot more. Give me back my rope, damn you! Well, I never liked that rope. I could make a fuse by soaking the strand in oil. That's it! The straw looks pretty similar to the original casing. I think I could make a homemade smoke bomb out of it. That's it! It's packed in a little tight, but it looks good. Now it's impregnated with oil. This will make the perfect fuse. There! Dr. Dijon's homemade smoke bomb, patent pending, ready to use. I hope this is legal. It's a good likeness, at least in the nose and mouth, but the eyes aren't right. Yeah, I think I could retouch it to make it look more like the pilot. I say some kit. No, no, nothing. Don't move. The pen ran out, but it was worth it. Now it looks like a picture of the pilot, although he's no oil painting. I'm an artistic genius. Maybe this could help me hire his hover jet. Hey, look what I found. Where did you get this? The security cops? Uh, yeah. But, but how? I got no criminal record in Sector 2. Maybe it's time for you to get out of town. I hear Sector 7 is a great place to lie low. Nah, if I run, I'll only attract their attention. I gotta be smart about this. Let's see him find me now. Pretty good disguise, huh? <laughs> There's no way they'll recognize me now. Hmm, this dice spray still has the security tag on. I think it's stolen. What are you doing, kid? Um, can I borrow your die? Meh, I owe you for the heads up. Sure. I'm guessing there might be some fingerprints from the pilot. I don't see any fingerprints on the glass, but I'll give it the once over with the brush.
You got some for me? It wasn't easy. I had to break a few rules. Hand it over, kid. It's a smoke bomb. It should emit a small cloud of smoke and attract the officer's attention. Perfect. Here's the plan. I throw the bomb. When the security cops go over to investigate, I bust into the last and found. What about me? You do absolutely nothing. Ready? Ready. Is that it? What the squid? I can't see a thing! Captain, an attack! <coughs> Code red! Code red! <coughs> oh, my hanger! <coughs> Looks like Luke's chemicals were a little too potent. Don't panic, everyone! What the heck kind of decoy is that? I can't see! <coughs> Don't worry, I'll take care of the lost and found. Nobody move! I'll activate emergency ventilation! <coughs> Oh! Ow! I kicked something. I think this is the lost and found receptacle. Who goes there? The door's a little stiff. There's something in there. Got it. With all this smoke, I can't see what it is. <sighs> found the override. Nobody move. I better hide. Oh, no! My hanger! It's filthy! Uh, take a break, team. We'll finish cleaning the whale tomorrow. I'll get on with the day's itinerary. Let's see what was in the lost and found. Two pieces of gum. Yes! I got access to the drawer. So? I got what was inside the lost and found. I didn't think you had what it takes, Kit. Show me the merchandise. Well, that's the problem. It was just a pack of chewing gum. Chewing gum? What are we talking? A thousand units? Two sticks. Two? You owe me, Kit. You promised me half the loot. Sure, here you go. One stick of gum. <laughs> it was so easy. <laughs> the best heist of the year. Gum! I prefer not to arouse suspicion. Did you see a bird woman pass through here? What? No. No one's coming here apart from you. Any packages for me? Yes, this big one has your name on it. I was just about to send it to you. Give me a minute. There you go. It should be in your lab by now. I've got to go. Henry? Yes? Good luck. It's the package they sent up from the hangar. Hmm. Looks like it's already been unloaded into the sample container. It's activated. That can only mean one thing. There's something inside. These are the remains of a mummy. They must have come from an expedition. There's a little bit of everything. Traces of hair, a sample of skin, a finger, clothes, and... Is that a sandwich? I'm going to ask Micro. Micro, did you unpack the shipment that just arrived? Yes. This time I remembered to put it in the sample container before it started smelling funny. They're samples from a newly discovered mummy. I'm supposed to be cataloging them, but until we find Total, I'm not doing anything. Can I do it? Dude, aren't you investigating the kidnapping? I am. This is Total related. Are you playing detective again? 
Are the samples that just arrived really related to Total's kidnapping? Yes, highly Total related. Then go ahead, I guess. One more thing, a note came with the delivery. Apparently there was a mix-up in the field. One of the samples comes from a different source. They want us to work out which samples are authentic and which is the odd one out. I'm sure I can find the bogus sample. What then? We get rid of it. Using a high-tech chemical procedure? Well, I was going to throw it in the trash. This shouldn't be too difficult. I just have to find out which of these five samples doesn't belong to the same site. The drawer is infused with a preservative gas that maintains humidity and prevents decay. It's meant to be harmless, but it always makes me sneeze. I don't know if we're allowed to manipulate the samples. I should read the sample information card. Cataloging team. Permission to handle samples is granted, provided the sample in question is not too fragile and more than one unit has been found. Oof. That rules out handling most of the samples. It also says that these remains belong to someone called Jimmy Hoffer. The body was found in a boggy region of Sector 30, formerly a kingdom known as the United States. The remains are probably late 20th century. Early indications are that Hoffer led a sect or union that worshipped fossil-powered vehicles known as trucks. Nasty. It says here he was shot in the head. I'm gonna take a strand for analysis. Frida! What can you tell me about this sample? Human hair. Do you need a dating? No, a date isn't enough. I need to know if it belongs to a particular sample collection. Well, if you have contextual data, I could do a component analysis. If the components of the hair match the authentic samples, you'll know it's genuine. That sounds perfect. I'll leave you to it. What do you mean? What about the neural colloid? The what or what -oid? The chemical reagent that facilitates component analysis? I thought you'd have some. How could I have some? I assumed you would. I have some. Okay, so could we use yours? No way! It's the only reagent I have left from the little princess's first chemistry set I got when I was six. It has sentimental value. Please, please, please. I don't know, Henry. That chemistry set is a collectible now. I... <laughs> no, no! You know I can't stand to see a grown archaeologist cry. I'm not crying. I can see you crying. You win. I'll use the last of my neural colloid. Give me a sec. Well, the sample appears to contain traces of oil, CO2, gunpowder, and shampoo. Does that help? Gunpowder? The report said Hoffa was shot in the head. Thanks, Frida. I'm glad it helped. I can mark the hair sample as authentic. I should do some research on the mummy that just came in. I need to find out about this Jimmy Hoffer if I'm going to identify his remains. There's got to be some archived photo from the period. All right, let's see. I love research. I'll enter the data that appeared in the field report. Two images found for United States and Truckers Union. There is no cross-reference for the terms Jimmy Hoffer or 1950 to 2000. We recommend that you perform a manual search to optimize the results. Only two matches. Not a great start. I'll have to continue the search manually. Which of these two images could bring me closer to Jimmy Hoffa? A horse? It's weird, but maybe it has something to do with Jimmy Hoffa. 
There's a wheel, but I don't think that means that this girl is a member of the transport union. This isn't what I was looking for. I swear it. I'm going to start again and erase the search history. Maybe this picture has something to do with Jimmy Hoffa and the truckers union. I'll try the red trucks. Let's see where the magazine takes me. I'm gonna try Kennedy. Let's see where the paper takes me. I'm focusing too much on Kennedy. There's nothing here about Hoffa. I'm going to start again. Hmm. The dates look right. I don't know if Hoffa was famous and dangerous, let alone a gangster. Jimmy Hoffa, 1975. I can't believe it! Is that really Hoffa? I'm going to print it. Looks like his killer took a picture of him just before the assassination. Ugh. It's the same sandwich Hoffa's eating in the photograph. Ugh. It didn't look very appetizing in the 1970s either. Hoffa's last meal. I'm going to mark this sample as authentic. Maybe I'll find some link between the photo and this sample. It's the same shirt he's wearing in the picture. This is what Hoffa wore on the last day of his life. I'm going to mark this sample as authentic. Frida! Go ahead, Henry. You're a mummy expert. Can you give me a hand? I guess so. I found this picture of a 20th century mummy which has just been discovered. That's not a mummy, Henry. Well, not yet. He became a mummy after the picture was taken. Let me see that. What do you need to know? Anything that can help me identify the remains would help. It's hard to say much without being able to dissect his brain. I only have the photo. Pity. It's a little discolored, but... I'd say the subject had skin type delta. That was rare for the 20th century. The subject would have had light eyes and freckles in the form of a constellation, plus an 80% likelihood of hay fever and a 30% chance of enjoying folk music. Science is amazing. So, freckles in the form of a constellation. Here, this reference chart might help. Thanks again, Frida. According to Frieda, Jimmy Hoffa's skin should have this freckle formation. I'll compare them. There's a match. The top right constellation. This skin sample really belonged to Jimmy Hoffa. I'll leave Frieda's chart next to the sample. Case closed. The mystery is solved. I can take the bogus sample. If all the other samples are authentic, then the finger must be the bogus sample. It's elementary. Could be useful. I could alter the temperature of the chromatic thermometer. I should be able to make it reach purple. Now I need to add a reference sample. Micro, what happened to the lab icebox? It went kablooey in the last blackout. Sorry, I can't get spare parts until next week. You'll have to find a refrigerant somewhere else. Hmm. I knew carrying a frozen finger was a good idea. Arctic fresh gum, but I think it needs to be chewed to unleash its power. <coughs> wow, this 
stuff is powerful. It's unorthodox, but here goes. It worked. The temperature's gone down. This can't fail. Okay. Not as cold as I expected, but it worked. The ice cubes have changed the color of the thermometer. Hmm, this eucalyptus breath spray might help. It worked. The temperature dropped. This could work. I'll pour the purple liquid into the spray. I think I can crack the thermometer with my trowel. Whoops. Now it's exposed to the air, the color should be fixed. Careful. I don't want purple hands. I'd better leave it. I don't want a broken thermometer. He could use a change of look. Perfect. Go ahead, Dr. Dijon. Isn't that purple hair? The infamous criminal? Here? Let's pummel him, sir. Don't be so hasty. We need reinforcements. I'm on it. Roger, roger. Urgent backup requested. Suspect pummeling imminent. Over. How long will they be? A few minutes. They're out shopping for the chief's anniversary party. Tell them I finished the last carton of mega milk. On it. We need milk. Repeat, we need milk. Over. Oh, looks like the reinforcements have arrived. Purple hair, you are surrounded. Surrender and you will be harmed. <clears throat> I mean, you will not be harmed. Stay back, son. He's dangerous. Maybe I can talk him into, uh, surrendering. That boy's a true hero. Stay back, coppers! I'm crazy! Hey, kid, you still need a ride? I gotta disappear for a while, and I need money. So, you'll take us to Sector 7? Heck, I'll take you to Phobos where the water slides. Anywhere! Just get in before the security cops make their move. I have to gather the rest of my team first. Ah, jeez, hurry! Excellent! We have a hover jet. Let's see. I still need to find out where Total's being taken. <laughs> 